speaking to you here today but to take us on the first set of conversations and the presentations that we have for you today the truth is we're here to dialogue we're here to have a conversation as much as we're here to share with you we also want you to have an open mind give feedback it's a time for us to learn it's a time for us to grow as pastor abayami has said it i think he has said everything you know your own your it's your mind first before you can even grow your business if you don't put yourself in the path of wisdom as a woman, your business will not go. So I'd like to bring on board the unit head of the women banking team in the person of being Peggy Sorry, who will take us through the first set of you know the presentations and I'll come back up again to talk to us about accessing finance. But Bing Pei will really be talking to us about how we can be on limited women in business. Are we excited about that? Are we excited about that? Awesome, great. Thank you so much. Please, with a round of applause, let's welcome Bing Peggy Sorry up on stage. Uh, media team, I know we have our presentations, so if you can just bring it up now. Thank you so much. Good morning. Do we have men in the room? Apart from Reverend Abayomi, are you not Reverend? Or a pastor? <laughs> Oh, I, we didn't know. We didn't know. So in my mind now, I, ha, I, ha, I have your no, no, uh, name stored as Reverend now. I put Reverend. Is he a brother? Yes. I'm going to tell you women. Is he a brother? Yes. Or a Reverend? Uncle. Pastor Uncle? Oh. Ah. Okay. The women have spoken. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, women. Good morning, unlimited women. So I can see some few men. I have to be conscious of that. So we have men. Okay. They are reminding me that they have men here. Okay. Thank you. We will not forget that. We welcome our men. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for being here for us. But this talk is for women. You've, you've been having your world. Let's have today, just today, give it to us. So, my presentation. Okay. Can you see it? They can see it. Okay. Who is moving the slide for me, please? Who's, I need, I want to know who is moving it. Okay. Okay, okay. Next slide, please. Next slide. Next slide. Okay, just leave it there. So, my women, I'm going to show you some things. It's going to be a little bit interactive. Please let me be conscious of time because I can stand here for the next two hours. So, please. Are we ready? You are going to give me your candid opinion, what you see. Be yourself. I want you to really enjoy yourself today. We are in it together. Next slide. What do you see? Beautiful pictures. That's your that's your view. Business women. It's just so that we don't have. Let everybody raise their hands. We are going to talk. So let's. That's your own view. Women in business. Good. I didn't even see a hand raised door. Yeah. Busy women. Okay. What again? Hmm. I like that. Please, ma. Good point. You saw what? Pictures. Hmm. She's saying pictures. Okay. Okay. Who else? All entrepreneurs. Thank you, ma. Yes, please. Very productive. Thank you. Yes, please. They are multitasking. Good. Any other contrary opinion? 
Yes, please. They look happy. Okay? There's a fundamental term that nobody has said. A man has helped us out a bit. Who else? There's one term. Yes, please. Busy women. Okay? One last one. They are not idle. Good. Above productive women. Above all, what's the qualifying word? They are all women. Can you identify yourself with them? Do you see yourself in them? If you don't see yourself in them, then we have a major problem. Do you see yourself in them? So you know women that different businesses that we can do to be productive. So it's not all of us jumping into one business or we doing the same thing. My friend is trading, so I must trade. She's selling Ashoki, so it must be Ashoki. Ashoki is the in thing right now. So everybody goes into Ashoki. But if you look at that picture, you will see the woman selling Pepe. She's being productive. The one being a, a fashion designer, she's being productive. Even the one in the office, having like doing services, doing like a customer service, she's being productive. Unlimited women, are we productive? Unlimited women, are we productive? Are this part of our limited women? Ah, I don't think so. Uh, now, now I believe. Yes, now I believe. So, for, for you to be unlimited woman, you must be productive. You must do something that will empower you. So we are here with my team to encourage, to show you directions, and to give you the booster that we all need. You know, the Bible says, my people perish because of what? Knowledge is here today. Hmm, I like that. I catch that rema. Good. Next slide, please. Next slide. What does it mean to be unlimited to you, to you? In your own terms, in your own words. When you hear unlimited, what does it mean to you? Anybody? Yes. Okay, when you're successful financially, yes, ma'am. Yes. Can you repeat it again? Ability. Yes. Perfect. Who else? That's our own understanding of unlimited in quantity and quality. Good. That's our own understanding. What is your understanding? What is your own understanding? Are you saying only three people or four people know understanding? What's your own understanding of unlimited? Yes, please. That's it. Good. Not to be lazy. Yes, please. I don't want to set the same set of people who everybody has an opinion. So I want everybody to talk. Is our day. I'll be, I'll be brother. I don't know what to call you. <laughs> brother. It's our day now. Yes, please. Unstoppable on all sides. Yes. I didn't hear that, please. Okay, great. Unstoppable. Good. To be unlimited woman is to unlock your full potential. Mommy has said it. Embrace your strengths. Women, we have strength. You believe that? Yeah. They call us the weaker vessel, but they don't know that we are stronger. And they've, they've used that to, to at their own detriment. We are stronger. So for you to be unlimited is to embrace your strengths. Live your life without any self-imposed limitations. So when they say you can't do it, you show them that you can do it and you can do it much better. 
That is what it calls to be an unlimited woman. It involves striving to make personal growth. Growth is your own personal determination to be who you want to be. Who you see, I want to be this. And you grow and you walk towards that goal. It's a personal determination. The day you give up, you've given up on that dream. You have a dream. We all have a dream. If you remember Martin Luther King, he said he had a dream. That dream may not may not be fully um, of fulfilled, but we are very close to that mark. We are black and white sit down to together. Hasn't America having a black president? Would, have, would, would, would you think it would have been possible about 400 years ago? But reality came and it came to pass. So it's a self-determination. You must be confident and believe that you can achieve anything that you set your mind to. Can somebody read Jeremiah 17:7 7 for me? It's going to be a mixture of that. Can you display it? Jeremiah 17:7. 7. Can somebody please? Who is there? So for you to be unlimited, firstly, you must trust your creator, your father in heaven, who knows today, the ending of today, in this very moment. You know that without him, we are nothing. Blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord and whose hope and whose hope the Lord is that your hope was in the Lord. For you to be unlimited, for you to be have confidence, for you to believe you can achieve anything, you must put your hope and your trust in the Lord. Why do you start a business? Any reason? How many of us are entrepreneurs? This, this gathering? Only one? You see, that's where confidence comes in. Oh. Confidence, oh. Amen. I will ask the question again and I will close my eyes as if I didn't ask it. Okay. How many of us are entrepreneurs? If you are, please raise your hands. Be proud now. Women, be proud. Raise your hands. We are doing wonders. We are the builders of this economy. This economy is depending on you. So raise your hand to Shakara. Please stand up and give the Lord a round of applause. Please. You entrepreneurs, come on. Come on. So women that are entrepreneurs, are you 9 to 5 like we? Are you 9 to 5s? Or, or stay at home moms? Say at home moms another different kind of work. We, they just just don't pay us for it. I know we will get there one day. But for the entrepreneurs, why did you go into entrepreneurship? Any reason? Anybody wants to share? To be financially independent. Okay. Who else? Was there a general consensus about that? What was the reason why you went? Another else? Okay. Alternative source of income. Yes, please. Yeah. Good. Prepare for the future. To be independent. Okay. Financial independency. Any other view? That you were just bored at home and you decided to do a business. So do what? Part your generation. Good. We all, we've, we've all said that's the reason. You know, it is personal to everybody. But I want to tell you what a woman said. And I want you to take it to heart. Never start a business to make money. Does it make sense? Never start a business to make money. Why? Why do you think so? I will tell you the reason why. I will tell you. Why do you start a business to make money? Sorry? Please do. <laughs> I 
chosen he for she. True. True. Never start a business to make money. But start a business to make a difference. So if you're starting a business today, you want to make a difference. You've seen there's a problem and you can fix that problem. So you will go into that business to solve that issue. And when the profit comes, it gives you joy. It gives you elevation. Yes, you know that you have done something. You have impacted your community. You have impacted your own um, nuclear family and extended family. You have impacted the world. Why do you think God brought you to the world? To impact the world. So when you're starting a business, always put that at the back of your mind that you're starting a business to make a difference. Yes, to make money, definitely, is part of it, but should not be the main reason why you start a business. Profit will come. It may delay. The Bible says, but we should wait for it. Entrepreneurship is the most successful driver for women empowerment. Nobody will empower you if you don't empower yourself. Nobody will empower you if you don't empower yourself. So entrepreneurship, everybody must take it serious. You will do it one way or the other. If you don't start it now, you will start it tomorrow. And if you are starting it now, how is your entrepreneurial journey? Let's make it, we are here, I'm a team, to make it more smoother and make it more thriving for you. You know, the Bible says there will be days of humble beginning. This is our all humble beginning. So let's embrace it. He says, start small, but go big. Believe in that, Abby. Start small and go big. That should be your slogan. I'm starting small. Yes. The Unilever of today did not grow, did not start being Unilever. They started from the scratch. Next slide. Next. Next, please. Thank you. So I'm going to give you opportunities. What are the small businesses we can start from the comfort of our homes that we can do that it won't cost us so much? What do you feel? Do you feel there are businesses you can do, you can start off from the comfort of your home that you don't need so much? We have lawful dreams. It's good to have dreams. Yes, I want to be the only one supplying, what will I call it? I want to be the only one supplying this fan. But remember, you must start small. You must start supplying maybe from your neighbors to your street members, to your estates, to the states, to, your, to the country before you start exporting. It's starting small. But what are the small, small businesses that you can stand. Small scale catering. Do you believe that? Small scale catering. So I live in a block of flats. My neighbor wants to do a five year old birthday party for the daughter. Ah, mommy Lyo. Lyo is gonna be five. Let me let me cater. Just I will help you buy all the food ingredients in the market, and I'll cook it for you at a chicken fee. You think that will, mommy liar won't do it? Everybody wants convenience now. Mommy liar will do it. And you do it very well. You know, and you know you can cook. Before you know it, you'll come and meet you again. Ah, Mommy, your son is going to be 10. It becomes your son, not my son. It becomes your son is going to be 10. Ah, we want you to do how you did it for mommy liar. That lion's body jollof rice was, was spot on. That's how you start a business. You first out with your immediate family, with your neighbors, sell that thing and get honest feedback. 
see. It's not every day we cook soup and the soup is 100%. There are some days you feel like, ah, this salt, and I didn't want to add this, this salt to the last set of salt I added was a problem. Yeah. There are some days you will do like this, ah, you say, ah, I forgot to add salt. You know, there are some days, but these are days of honest, these are the humble beginnings. Get your feedback. Get customer service to tell you, ah, mommy, like, mommy, you did it well today, but don't brush off that person. Ah, I did it for you now. It was free of charge. You know, women, we are really very good at attacking. These are humble, but these are small days. These are the beginning of the business. And your attitude can either allow that business to go or to kill it. Okay. Another one you can do is shikini money. If I'm speaking too much English, please tell me. Oh. So if I'm supposed to speak pidgin, let me know. If I'm supposed to speak Yoruba, I will try. So please, whatever, if you find out that my English is too much, please draw me back. Is that okay? We can do what we call Okrika. But you know, English has made it very nice. They don't call it Okrika. They don't call it second hand. What do they call it? Tree. So every, so every every bad business has a good name. It is just we that will spoil it. And say, the woman is selling Okrika. Say, don't be Okrika. The woman is into a tree business. And there are people importing, doing great things in that business. So it's something you can start off. Do not look down at any business. We may show show pastor that we are you know what we are doing. Who <laughs> <laughs> we pass? Who we won't we pass? No, 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 no. I will be the marker. So, small businesses, sewing materials, accessories. Accessories is a new thing right now. Everybody can have the old material and just put accessories. I can remember this dress very, very well. It was for a funeral. And I gave my tailor two dresses and he mixed up the style. And it was something I was going to travel to for a funeral and then he just did it me it was supposed to, it was meant for another material and i looked at it i was going for a party and everybody would be looking on point it was a celebration of life then i would look on like this like an house girl and i told him okay do you know what the mistake has been done what can we do to bring it up say so number one carve it for me number two stone it so am I not looking thank you sorry thank you yes I'm looking stony but shiny yes <laughs> so that was the idea why because of accessories this is a business you can start small you can start okay, let me be sterling stones I you know women, we like glittering. And the world is glittering right now, aren't we? But that is a business. Agric. You know, agric is something we can start from the comfort of our homes. People are doing it. Fish farming. Everybody is doing fish. Everybody likes now point and kill. Every, every, you can even do a point and kill business. Do pepper soup. So you are combining two businesses into one. I'm giving expo here. Oh. So when I finish, which I will take 10%. As you're giving 10% to God, you remember that there was one big piggy song that spoke and give me 10%. Huh? Sal, you don't do tight. Are you serious? I don't believe in tight. Okay, I take that. So, you know, when a footballer is coming, he has an agent. So it's the agent that goes and negotiates the business. I'm negotiating business now. Now, don't you feel I, I deserve to be paid? It means toning and um, shining and glittering. So that's it. So agri, you can do agri from your home. Fish farming, poultry, crop sell, crop planting. And now the beauty about it now, because technology and um, advances is going into every business. You don't need a very big farm and say, ah, my grandfather has a farm. 
in my village. And four acres. So I will plant. You can start from the comfort of your home, behind your windows. You can start using the cement bags. People are being innovative right now. Your broken bucket, just put sand and plant it. So start with vegetables. You can say, okay, you know, uh, shoko, green, everything, crop planting, corn, everything. You can start there. I know somebody that there's this leaf they call miracle leaf. That people can eat it, that they call it miracle. And the person just took it and planted it. I still saw it last week. I she pointed him to it. Yeah, this is that plant. It has grown. And very, so you can plant things. Start small. You know, everybody, if you have a mobile phone, please raise your hand. So it's only the people here that have mobile phones. Everybody, we don't have mobile phones. Mobile phones, oh. I didn't say either smart, I didn't say iPhone, I didn't say Samsung, I didn't say what's the techno. Mobile phone, you have a mobile phone, you can do hello. We all have mobile phones now. Ah. Only me tell women, don't we have no mobile phones? Yeah. But you know that's the business you are carrying in your hand. That's the business. Every now and then, we are Africans, we like to look good. We, like, we know we, our phones also speaks for us. And then, of course, everybody's into, you want to do, you want to cover your phone, you want to protect it. So that is a business. You see all those boys with those their wheelbarrow? Are they, not do, are they not doing their business? Airphones, cases, and everything. That is a business. People will always go, you know those things are really very, very fragile. And they were jumping up and down. The children are jumping up and down, doing everything. So those are business you can do from the comfort of your homes with very little money. Freelance. So you can do a lot of things. You are techie. You can do right. You like you love to write. You love to write stories. Write stories and sell. Brother is here for us. So. Brother is a journalist. I knew me, I know him as a journalist. So when I saw this this uh, this uh, flyer. I was just saying, well, there's nobody God cannot use. Which is true. Which is true. Whatever talent you have, God gave you that talent. And you must use that talent also to honor God. And so this is his own way of honoring God. So you can write, send it to him. You can do graphic. You love, you love to draw. Do it. It's a passion. You know you're into social media, you love to see, you love to, you know, to create things, to write up things. Right? You like to, you like to, you know, you can come up with different things. You could write, you could blog. Those are things that get you money. And you know right now, in this social media world of ours, people are making money from the comfort of their homes. So you sleep, you wake up. No, they don't really sleep. You sleep. In the night, they look for stories, check the net and everything. They sit in, they sit down and write, blah, 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 blah. She give it very shouty caption. Ah, Jesus came to the world today. Are you aware? What are you doing? So you you wake up and Jesus came to the world today. What did he do? What did he do? What did he do? Is he coming to my area? When is he coming? Look out. He's coming to Agege. You'll be wondering when, 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 when. That's Shotunde. The Shofunde. I didn't even know there was a name called Shofunde until today. No, coming here today was another. I was frustrated. If we look at it, there was that I sent a chat to you say I'm lost. Actually, when I got it, I finally deleted it that you've not read it. I just got, I got frustrated and I said I'm lost. Yes, because God Bookman kept on telling me turn left, and I got to the there was a curve that was turning right. Where is the left? Was I supposed to climb, climb the convex? So I just kept going. I, I don't know how many times I've gone through these streets. No, I'm telling you, I'm going straight down. Oh, and I saw 295. I'm going to 95. And you know, you ask people, you don't know. I don't know. Go down. You sit down. <laughs> but now I know this area. Thank you for thank you for thank you for giving me that. So those are things that we can do. Minimal financial risk. You don't need to spend so much. It's easy to start and it's easy to scale. You start it off, you are buying one or two. 
you sell. The time you buy five, you sell. But now you increase it to one dozen. People are people are asking for it. I will tell you of a story of no somebody that sells kuli kuli. Sells kuli kuli. She packs. She gets it from the north. My sister actually. She gets it from the north. She sit down, looked at it, and everything. And then she started selling and selling. She takes it to church. We go to church. So you know, I I always am a believer of a closed mouth, a closed destiny. I'm a believer of it. So if you have a business, if you don't sell anybody, it will be with you. You have to open your mouth. That is it. So ah, I said kuli kuli, mommy. Ah, how was church day? I said kuli kuli. Oh, very nice, very nice. They put pepper. It's nice. You can do gary. You can eat your snacks. It's healthy. And that's how she sells. So there are people that ask, I could come. Oh, I need twenty packs. I need this. So she collects. Initially, she started with how much? Now she sells. They now send her uh, like a big Ghana must go every week. And so as she says, she's collecting today. She's already making a request for another one because people are already waiting. Oh yeah, bring, 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 bring. Give me this. Give me this. I just started from the comfort of her. Mm. Next slides. Practical tips for starting a business. There's some things you need to know. Yes, Jesus is Lord. We know that. Don't we? And we know that he is good at all times. And you know that the power to get wealth is with and the kid of that wealth is also with him. But there are some things he expects us to do and to know. Knowledge. Start. Identify a niche for that market. So do not go, you know, well, let me put it okay. Here now, every like just like in front of the church, the man is that was what I now finally was able to identify it. Because I was looking for when you said motorcycle, my mind went to motorcycle, not knowing that Marua and everything. So this man is selling motorcycle. The next neighbor is selling motorcycle. Everybody, you two say, ah, it's motorcycle's business I'm going to do. Is that creating a niche for yourself? You're just jumping, you are seeing another person's dreams, you are jumping into it. Sometimes it may work for you, but a lot of times it doesn't work. And when it doesn't work, don't blame God. God is always faithful. Know the needs of your community. Then every community will have a need. You be in, be in the streets, and there's, if you want to buy biscuits, you know you have to travel to buy biscuits. You can create a small stock shop to sell biscuits, all those small, small different kind of biscuits. Children will always need biscuits. They're going to school in the morning. They're going to buy biscuits for your, for your lunch bag. So find the niche. What is missing in my community? Can I solve that problem? That's creating a niche. Seeing that there is a need of that thing in that my community. And people go far and wide for it. It can be very simple. It could be just water. There's no portable drinking water. And you decided, that, okay, I'll be selling pure water. And you make it, people go far today. You cannot make it close by. Ah, mommy, I'll be supply. I have, now sell pure water. Oh. Be your own advertisement for your business. Nobody will do it for you. Mommy, mommy, Busola, I now sell pure water. Do you want? Have. You can pay me. You know, so the person looks like I don't have to go that far. You know, ah, thank you, thank you. You're making life easy for everybody. That is what people want. So know the niche. Focus on every day's essential. There's some things that are essential. Who can give me an example of essential things that we all need as human? Yes, ma. Food, good. Toiletries, good. That all? Water, okay? Sorry? Snacks, yes. Um, yeah. But it's not really essential. Because some people don't live, some people can live without snacks. Drugs, no. Eh? Clothes, yes, clothes. Eh, Atta? Who said Atta? Atta, Atta, Atta. 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 Atta.
Oh, okay. <laughs> Mana, please call it on this. There are men. We have men here. Call it on this. <laughs> call it on this. Underwear, call it underwear. We all wear underwear. Both men and female, we both wear underwear. But those are really essential things that you can also go into. Cream. Perfume is not, it's not essential. Even body cream is not really essential. True. So people live without it. Very true. True. Shoes. Yes. Sorry? I didn't get that. Gas. Ah, it's not essential. That's luxury. It's not essential. People use charcoal. People use different things. They're not luxury. It's when you're not comfortable that you want to now, you want to step up. Sorry? Diaper. Diaper. For a kid. Yes. For not some others. Yes. But it's not essential for adults. So let's move ahead. We know those are essential. So those are essential things that you can do. That's why if you notice, let me let me give you some one of my observations about life. When my mom was sick and she passed on, I now knew there was there's a lot of business in that space. In that funeral space. It I didn't my eyes were really close to it. And when I got in, I ga- engaged one of the funeral home um, CEO, and he told me what a ca- how much a casket is, what art they can bring, you can import the handles, you can just take that part of the business, you can handle, you know, different. It's amazing the line of business that's available in that space. But because it is associated with death, we tend to close our eyes and if not because of that death and I was trying to move my mom from one funeral home to another home I, and I when we had a conversation I looked and I said wow and they are making it cool money I, I have to be sincere with you I was shocked and you know why it's essential because every one of us will die it was, it's, it's painful because I looked at him and I said you are profiting from the pains of people. But, hmm, death, they say, is a price everybody will pay. You don't know when, you don't know how, but you know you will pay it. And we as, a, as Christians, we should not be fearful because we know, if we know, if you know that you've lived a life worthy of the kingdom of heaven, so why not if not, why are we afraid? If we say, uh, let God come now. Are you ready? Ah! Im- unlimited women. So we are not ready. Pastor, ha- we have a lot of work to do. They say they are not ready. Oh. They are not ready. Oh, the men are not ready. Why? No, but really, let's be sincere. Let's, apart from this, sincerity, let's all be ready. As my mother has one slogan, I will say it in Yoruba. She used to say it, and I will try and translate. She said she used to say, "Ale zoko makbe tolo ya, ale zoko maya tolo kbe." Saying simply that we may say, "Ah, I have, I will live long." It may not be so, my sisters. I may say, "I will live a very short life," and lo and behold, ninety hundred. You are still standing, and you are wondering, Father, what happened now? All my mates are gone. It happens. So you don't know time. That's why the Bible says we should live our lives as if today is the last day. We all should be ready. That's aside my own presentation. But you should start small and scale gradually. Rome was not built in a day. Even Nigeria said was not built in a day. Seriously. Oh. So if you live, I used to work in a crew room and I left. I think I left, I think 10 years old. 12 years later, 
I went, I came, I went back to Ikudu. Seriously, it had changed. And things I knew, I, do, I just couldn't navigate anymore. So development had happened. But that's, you know, it started as a no man's land. You, when you say you could do, you look, ah, it's so far. But now, you could do is almost near our nose. That's it. But remember, we started small. And they grew. Everybody will grow. Take your child, for instance. You give back to him. He was a child. He was a baby. You are rocking him. Everywhere you go, either you back him, carry him one way or the other. But gradually, gradually, two years, he, he was walking and running. Three, as I say, as, as soon as the child starts school, he has, he has started the also of, the, of this world. So that's it. And he grows and grows and grows. And before you know it, he goes to secondary school, he goes to uni. And before you know it, he says, Mommy, I want to get married. He's becoming a full adult. He's going to create his, his own family. He's going to stand on his own. Remember, you st- that child started school and grow gradually. He did not become first day and became five. The next day, I say, Mommy, I want to get married. On day two, no. So that's how you should take your business. You should take your business like a small child that grow organically, grow every day. How do you grow every day? How do you start small? Do not say I want to start a business. What do I start with? I don't have money. What do you think? Advise me. What do you feel? I want to start a business and I don't have money. Oh. So what do I do? Eh? Sorry? Borrow. Hmm. Ah, no, I can't hear. Oh. You have to raise your hand. And then hold it with your chest and tell me. Ad- you're advising me now. Yeah? Okay. Then. Then. Yes, ma. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Somebody said I should borrow. Okay. Location. Okay. I should learn about the business first. Thank you. Yes. Friends and family, please do not start a business borrowing. I beg of unlimited women. That's the greatest mistake you can do. He's, he's committing suicide. Listen, sir. Please. Use your personal savings. Women, we know we are good savers. Use your personal savings or small funds from friends and family. You know, family, now we will now. They will push you, they will push you. Pay me, pay me. Sister me, I will pay you. Sister me, I will pay you. Do you know how much I will pay you? I will pay you. I have not paid. That's so, that's so lively. That's why we are called family members. You know? So, really, sincerely, do not start any business, irrespective. Start with loan from a bank, from anywhere, apart from your friends and well-wishers that you know they can close their eyes and leave their funds with you. Or your own personal savings. If it fails, you beat yourself. Ah, you beat yourself, you cry, cry, cry. When they say, ah, food is ready. You eat it and say, ah. My mom's no, I can't die now. Is that not what we say? I can't die now. Truly, truly, you can't die now. But it's but if it's a financial institution, come on, you can die you because we want our money. Uh-huh. Only God knows who gave that name, who gave that slang. <laughs> but sincerely, start small. Starting small does not see. You want to do a business. You have 100,000 start. You don't have to be looking at a business that you could start with 5 million. So if I don't have 5 million, I can't start business. Fa, fa, fa. Please. Avoid all necessary expense. I want to start a business. Me too, I must have an office. My office must have a... Come on. I must have a secretary. They can't just be coming into my office. Hmm. Or your lower. Abby? I've been a 
or you only a hand. Start with a small version of your business. Start small. Start from your bedroom. You don't. You are not paying rent. Everything. So you are there. You are the storekeeper. You are the accountant. You are even the auditor. You will, you will be the one that will check how many stocks do I have. Everything you are everything. And when you grow, you can grow and find out that okay, me I want to become madam. I want to be calling somebody. You can now employ. Avoid unnecessary expenses. Start small. Again, customer service. You can be good. You can have a nice product. But if your customer service is poor, my sisters. Ojo. As they say, support silo. That business is gone. Serious. Because today I come, you treat me shabbily. I may buy, I may buy that product. If it's not necessary for me, I may walk off. And I will tell you, I used to do it. I will tell you, it's my money now. It's not free of charge. It's things that are free of charge that you say it's free now. Being paid, you're not paying. Endure, endure. But I'm paying my hard earned money and you're giving me attitude. What will you do? Walk away. Customer service. And if you walk away and then somebody comes, ah, I want to buy this. Ah, my sister, don't go there. That woman, <laughs> she will insult your life. But you don't look and say, eh, really? And then you know, women, you know how we, you know how we put Jara. Ah, there was nothing she didn't tell me, even if it was only one sentence. She will, there's nothing she didn't tell me. You want to be insulted. She will add you and your husband that did not come there. She will join everybody, even your unborn children. Customers service. You have to build trust. You have to build loyalty. You have to build your brand. Sometimes you may not have a good product, but your customer service will make people come to you. Will make people come. And I always tell you, be open to honest feedback. Oh, madam, this biscuit that you sold to me is becoming soft. Do not say, ah, I do have bought it since. So, no, I just bought it yesterday. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll look into it. Simple. You are building trust. They know they can tell you things. Do not be unnecessarily argumentative when they give you feedback. Have a listening ear. Listen. It will cost you nothing. Don't talk too much. Take it. Go back and reflect. Go back and check. Is it true? Not everybody likes soft biscuits. Every I love crunchy. So if it's not crunchy today, you won't see me there tomorrow. But if I can give you that feedback and say, I want to help this small business. Hey, madam, your, bis- your biscuit is crunchy. It wasn't crunchy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll look into it. So you could just quickly sell off that at a cheaper rate, just to gain back your capital and buy another biscuit. I mean, just avoid that brand and buy another biscuit that'll be crunchy. It's just trying to maintain and retain your customers. Watch cost management. Watch your overhead. Avoid costs that are not necessary. You want to be good. You want to, so you have a small business. You have um, some few employers. And you want to be called ah, my madam my madam is good so food on the house today we sold everybody food on me try eat lunch on me water on me this on me hmm. or because you have made you made sales so you don't come before you used to come you used to open your shop at eight your business has grown now you tell the shop go and open the shop at eight the madam was strolling at one two what did you sell today madam it's not it too. It's not it. Remain humble. Remain vigilant with your business. If you don't need to rent, stay place where you don't need to rent. Try and build your business from a very point in time that you can go and thrive and avoid unnecessary costs that you don't need to. Also, networking, mentorship. Look us for somebody that's been in that business that can also you can also learn. And then when you have, of course, there will be difficulties. Let's don't fool ourselves. That is life. That is life. But meet, be a men, get mentors that can assist you and say, oh, 
When I was in this position, I also had this experience. This is what I did. This is what I did. It could be in anything. Take and learn. Meet your association. Network. I'm having this problem. How do you see it? Take opinions and look at it. It will help you. Okay? Leverage on technology. Technology is now the in thing. There's nothing AI will not do now. It's always, I'm telling you, AI can take this presentation and then give and do like a miniature of me as if I'm the one talking. That's how the power of AI. And this is just the beginning. AI will do a lot. I will cl close up some offices and close up some jobs. So you can do a lot of AI. What do I mean? A lot of technology, digital school, sorry, digital skills, digital tools. You can use e-commerce from the comfort of your home. Put your markets, your products on Gigi, on Conga, on Jumia. Let's do, we are going too far. WhatsApp, we all use WhatsApp now. WhatsApp is not just for Elu and Aproko and know what is going on. You'll be checking status. Ah, uh, Shagu, Shagu, what's his name? Shagu Johnson is here. He's performing here. He's doing here. Mommy Gio is doing the sister's conference tomorrow. He's watching this, watches, which is what she wore. You look at all the pictures, you, you can't go. That's not what WhatsApp is all about. You can sell your you can sell your product on the same WhatsApp. Even Facebook. Facebook is not for looking for your lost found friend. You can put your product there and people will look for you. There's something called a Facebook uh, marketplace. Put your product there. People will be calling you. I want this, I want that. You know, don't you want new markets? I mean, you just want to be just satisfying the same set of customers. Yes, now. Don't you want to be unlimited? You want to be unlimited, unlimited to power 10, don't we? Then shout, then stand, tell me something good. Don't we? The yes is too low for me. Don't we? Yes. Are we sleeping? Oh. Chill around it up. Let me oh. quickly. Why just what? I should take my time. I hope we have um reservation for hotel here. Okay. You so said we should not worry. Market your products. You need to have plans and strategies of how you want to market your product. Product will not market itself. And a good product in your house, in your room, is a good product where a good product where a good product in your room is a good product where ha huh. everywhere. How would they, how would they, how will it be everywhere in your room? It's only your room that knows that, that you have a good product now. If you don't advertise, if it, yes, people will know about it. How do I, now you have a good product in your room? Do I know about it? How will I know about it? If you don't talk about, if you don't tell me about it, ah, I'm selling this, so ah, this, and I'm selling this kind of dress. Why did you go and sew? And I made life easy for you. Have it in different sizes. Do you want it small, in big sizes, even all robot? This one, uh-uh. I have it. Even plus, 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 plus size. It's marketing your products and have a plan on how you want to do it. Just don't market anyhow. Let it be structured. Word of mouth is also a form of marketing. You know, if I can satisfy her very well, and she says, and so, and then a friend comes or a village association comes, I say, We are looking for somebody or that uh, I should be. Ah, I have a plug. You know, all of us always have one plug or the other. I have a plug. That's how business come. But if I treated her very badly and they said they need somebody, she'll just remember, Ah, Ah, I don't want to allow. That's it. She won't even mention you because she doesn't want issues. Because she knows that they will give you, you may not deliver. That is it. There's a lot of business that will have like, opportunities that have like, come our way. But the way we treated the customers, word of mouth. And if I treat one customer bad, she will tell 10 people. So you can imagine, you can imagine. But if I can treat her well, she tells she tells one person. 
Let's not just say she tells one person. I treat her as always saying one person well. You know how it will be multiplying. So I will capture her, I'll capture her own family. I will capture the friend, I will capture her family, capture their church, capture everything. Look at advertisement. You can do flyers. You can just do flyers, you know. If you can afford it, you can just do small flyers that should show that I am in this business, in this area. Put your number, put your page. If you're on Instagram or whatever it is, put your mobile number. If you want to dedicate a mobile number to that business, put it. But let it be a number that you will pick. And if you're not going to pick it or switch it so that you know that they know the time they can call, you can put a time there. But create a flyer that can show your business, that can give visibility to your business. You can't be in a business and only you know about it. Why are we in business? Why are we in business? To make a difference. Why are we in business? So if how do you make a difference? It's only you that knows about the business. Advertise. I'm not saying go and meet. No. I'm not saying go to CNN. You will get to a stage that CNN will be asking you for advertisement. Don't you want to get to that stage? That is it. But you have to start small and start well. Your foundation must. This is the foundation that we are trying to build. Then, of course, you want to scale. There are alternative fundings. There are funds that you can get. There are grants. There are competitions that you can do. And you can also win grants. So, for those who want to do them, if you can do them, participate. Sometimes we go for this competition. There's a competition that we do in Assets Bank from Women Banking Team. Um, it will come up. It will come up this month. We will call in for application. We will call it Women Premium. It's for women like you that have started business for a minimum of one year. For you to come and showcase your business, and at the end you go through an eight weeks. I won't call it intensive. Eight weeks. Eight weeks. Um, mini MBA. Mini MBA. You know MBA. It's a minimum of 12 months. So a minimum of 12 months. But we're saying eight weeks. Even if you have a BS, a BA, we're giving you MBA. You know what? You don't know what that is. Free of charge. You're not paying a dime. But we'll tell you what is going on in the, in the business world. See, tools that you need to not grow that your business. And then at the end, you now pitch your business ideas to a jury of your peers to win a grant with a minimum of five minutes. So, they are love, so you can win five for this or that. But let me tell you something. The beauty of other program is that it's not, you know, it's when all of us go for a competition, yes, we are all winners because we entered that competition. We came out because over 40,000 will apply. And I don't, I don't, we don't have space to take 40,000, unfortunately. So we take about 120 out of 40,000. And we do that yearly. So we will, we will take you, put it in a class, feeding, we will try and feed you to our own standard. We'll feed you, we'll do everything. You now go, go for the pitching. Some will win. Not, not remember, not everybody will win the grant. But if you don't win the grant, this is where the work starts. You have to now show them, you have to now show me and pepper me. That you see, you didn't make me win grants, but I am doing wonders. And believe me, you the people that didn't win the grants are doing crazily well. I'm not saying people that didn't that won the grant are not doing well, though. But you will now marvel and say, if had this woman had won this grant, where would she have been? If she's doing this well, people have moved their business from not just Nigeria now into to UK, into the US, any foreign currency. Do you know how much pounds is today? So I sell, I sell 10 pounds. That's how much. Hmm. I calculate pounds today, so it's over 1,900. So just small thing and you just sell. That's how far they carry their business. Because they took the learnings and incorporated it into their business. So look at this competition. So that you didn't win should not tell you and say, ah, and I put you on my best too. You can't win it all. You can't win it all. It's just like in school. 
were you forced in your class? Were you forced all the time? You know, parents will tell our children, we are forced. You know, I used to wonder, please, oh, which parents, which parents were the ones that came last in their sets? So I'm waiting for to see that day that a child will say, my mother used to come last during that time. It's always first. I'm wondering which of them came second. But nobody came second. It's always first. That's how it is. You may not win it all, but just go for it. Go for it. It will sharpen your skills. It will make you a better person. It will make your business better for it. Next slide, please. I want to show you a picture. Tell me who you know. Can you look at it? Oh, it's at the back. Can you? Oh, yeah. Who do you know? There are three women there. Three. You know Alakija? Who is Alakija? Where do you see Alakija? Because <laughs> I can't see Alakija there. <laughs> who is Awoshika? I'm, I'm asking you, look at those three. There are three phenomenal ladies or women. Let me don't call them ladies, women. Current what? Current what? If you don't know, anybody, if you don't know the three, it's okay. It's okay because they don't know you. Abby? They don't know you. And they must know you. So do you know anybody there? No. I wish you guys the CEO of um, Chair Center. She was also at uh, the chairman of First Bank. I don't think Ogule is the chairman for Rough and Tumble. If you look at the Rough and Tumble shops, she started small. She started small. Small. Taylor. Let me, let me go to our local language. Taylor. But she has, she's not a brand. She's not a brand. Otikme. 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 Otikme is 1990. Otikme you. She, in 1990, the face of an successful entrepreneur used to be a man. But now, women are changing things. She is the face of a successful entrepreneur. And she started very, very small from the comfort of her home. And she's now a big brand. Vicky, Vicky, um, Vicky James. Uh -huh. Vicky Jane started with very, very small, like a local table. Put 4,000, 5,000, gradually 10,000. Right now, right now, she only sold for celebrity because only celebrity can afford. Can you afford to sell a dress for 2 million? Yes, now. I should, I run on me. They just finished the uh, AMVC. Do you know how many clients she sold for? She sold for them regularly. The least you can collect, the least. Okay, I know you and see me. You know, you know, we always use sentiment. I'm your sister now. We are blood now. Okay, one M. But when she brings out that design, you serve it, you take. You will know, say, somebody finish work. But remember, she started small. She's now big. So when you, by the time you create a need, you crew your services, you'll be calling the prizes and people will say, okay. No, she's not, she's not looking for customers. Her customers are begging her. So she has done to this. She, she's starting to know what she's going to sell next year for them, for the next, for 2025 AMVC. But she will always tell you, humble beginning. Next slide. What are the tips that we need to manage you yeah. you jump to slides though. okay next Can somebody read Abacook 2, 2 to 3 for me? Abacook 2, 2 to 3. Can we put it on the screen, please?
I was still, I think I've spent so much so that my other colleagues. Okay. And the Lord answered me and he said, write the vision. I make it plain upon tables that he made the run that read it. The Bible said so that we can run with it. If I have a vision about my business. One house, please. Are we here? Are we here? Is it making sense? So I'm going to tell you how to write and the tips for writing a compelling business plan. You must have a business plan. Even if it's the, in a business in your room, you must have it and you know, look at it every day. You know when you have a dream, you write your visions and all. It's just like when we are coming into the new year, I have a resolution and say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that. So if you look at it, it's easy for us not to, to fall out because we just write it and throw it somewhere. But if you put it every day, you look at it. Oh, I didn't do this yesterday. I'm meant to do it. You have, you have a conscious effort to ensure that all those things are ticked. Okay? Number one, search your vision. Think of a business with a unique vision. What problem does he want to solve? Write it out. Make it vivid to you. Let it inspire. Let it inspire you every day. So you look at it. I want to be in a business that gives back to the society. I'm going into a chin chin business. I want my chin chin to be made hygienically with the best products, best ingredients, and very healthy for both children and adults. So you do that. So you at the end, you look at it every day. You are conscious about what you buy. You are conscious about your mixture. So it's not something you are doing in dirty hands. You are very conscious. Describe your mission. Your mission assessment is like your superhero motto. It must be clear. It must be bold. It must, it must resonate with you. It must sync with you. It must be like a personal, your own personal being. Do a research about your business. Be a detective. What happens in this business, in this line of my business? What can make me go? What can destroy me? What can finish my business? You look at it. You are into changing business. You went to go and buy fake powder, a fake flour. It will destroy your business. Define your target market. Who is your target market? Adults and children, women and children. So you know you are, you create a product that will suit them, that they will need and they will want and crave for. Have a unique selling proposition. How do I want to market it? How do I want to sell it? How do I want to package it that will attract people to it? Marketing plan. Start marketing plan. You go to church. You go to your sister's meeting. Ah, you could start. Sometimes when we start some of these businesses, everything should not be money, 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 money. If you do like a sample, give it out. Ah, where did you get this stingy? It was so nice. Ah, mommy, I'm the one, no. It's my new business. Really? Nice. I like the packaging. You know, sometimes you buy some product because of the packaging. Business plan. As I said, you can use social media. You can use flyer. Word of mouth. Start a business plan. Market your business. Have a plan. How your business will be running day to day. Be in charge of your business. Do not leave your business in the hands of any other person. Only you. That's why I say, take your business to be like your baby. Will you leave your baby for auntie and then go a day? No. Even one or two hours, you'll be saying, ah, what's happened to my bad baby? You call, auntie, is she sleeping? Has she eating? Ah, she has not. Wake her up. She's supposed to eat. You know. That's how you should treat your business. Have a financial plan. But this is what I want to spend for this business now. And when, I, when I'm when i growing, this is how much I will need and everything. Look at the plan. This is how much I need for raw materials. This is how much I need for salary. This is how much I need for this and this and this. And then make a plan for it. And when it's time for you to pay salary, please pay salary. Please pay salary. Please. Know how you spend money. Know how you spend. Because out of that money, you still also need some part of it into your business. And also, you need also need to into to invest that same profit from other places. And above all, have a summary of all these plans together in such a way that other people see it. Because you also, you want to go and be a mentor to somebody. 
you don't want to grow and be, you are being mentored from the from the day one of your business to day 20 yes you are still being mentored no you should grow just as our, ch- our children will grow and have their own family your business should, you, all, you should also grow and become a ceo that can mentor other people next slide next slide as i've said all this next slide so I, want to, I will say this because it's very, very crucial. Cash flow management is very, very important. These are things that can mar your business or make it grow if you don't effectively manage your cash flow. So you need to know what your cost of production is, what your expenses are, what your profit is, and you need to know the margin. So I cannot use 5000 to do a product and everything. And at the end, sell it for four thousand eight hundred. Is it? Will my business grow? Am I covering my cost? No. So that's it. So you need to know your cash flow. Now you need to also know that some the things that you sell on credit and know the days you are supposed to pick. You also need to factor that. So your cash flow is very very important. So you do not go and borrow and say, okay, um, I need this thing, this thing. I collect. You collect. You make expenses for ten bags. When you only need one, what are you doing with the extra nine bags? Those nine bags and you're staying for, you don't know how long you will need it. It becomes still, and it could be a lot of funds to you. So cash flow is very, very important for people. I will not jump in because it's very essential. Okay? Do we understand that? Or should I reiterate that? So it's very important that please and please and please know your cash flow effectively monitor your cash flow know how funds are coming in into your business how you are spending because it will help you it will help you know to where you need to put a stop how you put it need to put it to hold on some some expenses and some activities next slide please yes this is very crucial you know when you go into business and you are making a difference and profits are coming in what do you do with the profits He said, plow it back. Very good. You plow it back into your business, but you also invest. So you are not a one man, in one hour, like a one man business. So you are investing in yourself and also doing some other investments. So it's just like when you have a portfolio, a portfolio is uh, like, oh, like, like a tree. You know, when a tree grows, well, he's growing, he has, he starts branching out. That's how it's called investing. The tree is growing. His plant is ensuring that it's growing. He's doing his business. He's doing everything. He's bringing out fruits. He's doing everything. He's also branching out fruits. And the fruits are also falling and also growing. So it's very important that you make profit and also invest and also pull back. So some of the some of your profit you put back into your business to make it grow. That's how you try. That's how you grow organically. So you're not um selling a five year they are not on the same level yeah one year you can grow but you know you just want to i don't want i just want to remain small i lost small businesses please we want every woman to be unlimited how can you be unlimited you need to grow every business needs to grow a child grows your business your business is a child it must grow please and then for you to grow you must have profit and also you must invest that profit both in yourself and other ventures Next slide, Steve. Customer service. This, as I explained, customer service is very, very essential. Without the customer service, your business is as good as dead. And your business, remember, you are, you are standing as one. Your business is also a person. And so, whatever you, the service you render, to determine if your business will grow or if you remain at that same level. Next slide, please. So that my other colleague can come in. Next slide, please. So these are real world examples. In a food processing business, your vision, what's the name of my business? Let me take this as an example. 
is a food food processing business. That means what's my vision? To become the leading provider of a premium, sustainable, and health conscious food products, transforming the way people eat by making not nutritious and delicious meals accessible to everyone. Too much English, Abby. Too much English, Abby. So she's saying that the way I will cook my food, so it's, it's my vision, okay? To become the leading provider of a premium. This guy sang this song. What does uh, this was the lyrics of it? What is money? Money is nothing now. Yeah. Premium or nothing. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying I'm going to be the provider of a premium, sustainable, and health conscious food products. Transforming the way people eat by making nutritious and delicious meals accessible everybody. I didn't say accessible to one click. Accessible to everybody. That's my vision. My mission. Are we following me? No. no. You're not following me. Come back here. I should come back where? This place now. I don't know where my glasses. Okay. My mission to deliver high quality, organic, and eco friendly food products that nourish the body and delight the senses. That's my, I'm just giving you an example of a business plan. Chase, my market research, I told you to do market research, be a detective, what is going on in this area, in this sector of business I want to go into. You need to know. It's called market research. The global ma organic food market size was valued at $150 billion in 2020, 2020 sorry, and it's projected to grow at 14% from 2021 to 2023. That means there's a potential for growth in that sector. I have done my research, showing that it's not a growth, it's not a sector that they're already at their peak, that there's nowhere to go to. You always want to go into a sector that you know there's a there's a place for you to go to expand your business. I've done my market research. Who who are my target market? My primary tag, uh, co uh, customers are urban professionals, fitness enthusiasts, families seeking healthy meal options. They are also they value convenience, nutrition, and sustainability. Every business must have sustainability. You don't want to do a business that you cannot hand over to your child. Why is why why are you in business? Is it not to make your legacy, to grow your legacy? Saying that I can't live for two hundred years, but but my business should live for two hundred years. Are you in it for with me? So you are into a business that you create a business name, Big Pay Ventures. Big Big Pay can't live forever. At age nine hundred, let me go and see the I don't try now, Abby. Abby, I never try. Uh -huh. 120. Mommy. 100. I'm okay. And then my business, how how nice it would be for me in heaven to look down and say, ah, Big Big Ventures is not in UK, it's in US, it's in Japan, it's in China. Won't you feel proud? It's called sustainability. So you need to know your target market. What's my selling point? Organic ingredients, sustainable and recycling packaging, farm to table, freshness, diverse meal catering to various dietary preferences. So you're not just looking for a soy look, you could do for a cleach, but okay, it's just for diabetes patients you want. That's your market audience. So you cater for them. You could take a niche and say for people with high blood pressure and you want to do a meal plan, that's your own business. Go for it. You need to identify your business. Marketing plan. Do a marketing plan. Operation plan. Effect, efficient. They're doing. To look, you can look for people that can also help you in building that your business. Equipment that could make life easy for you. Technology. Somebody said technology. Technology, yes, but gradually. Then an efficient uh, financial plan. Do a budget. 
to a budget. Next slide, please. So, I have come to the end of my presentation.